Most interesting looking one is this one. Hopefully this one doesn't bite me. What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily. Today we're going to be looking at an amazing ball python clutch that hatched out about a week and a half ago. It just shed. So we're going to get to see what we got. It was uh, pretty exciting because we uh, got a snake that proved out to be head clown. So that was really cool. And to be honest, I'm not really even sure what we got. So maybe you guys can help me out with that ID. I also got a very, very nice gift in the mail from my friend Miguel Garcia from Always Evolving Pythons. And I'm going to show you that too. So stay tuned. We got a lot of fun stuff. All right, every once in a while, you get a nice surprise in the mail. And I have to thank my friend Miguel Garcia from Always Evolving Pythons for sending me this gorgeous, gorgeous female. Ooh, a little spunky. This is a very rare snake in our ball python world. This is a, as you can see, it's a clown, but it's a trident clown. And trident is a relatively new morph. And this is beyond what I expected from him. Thank you, Miguel. This is very kind. I know. Ooh, she got me. I know, Miguel, you're very you know, happy with the information that I was providing you with, but that's, this is beyond my wild expectations. Thank you so much. You're a good friend and we'll be friends for a very long time, obviously, because we respect each other. But this is, these trident clowns are really special, man. Can't wait. Now I got to think about what I want to breed this little girl to, but I guess I got three years to figure it out. <laughs> so, so I, I would say something hurricane clown probably would be going to this little girl. Exquisite, super, super nice. This is going to be a, um, a really nice project in the future. Thank you, Miguel. And there it is. Trident clown. All right. This uh, clutch is a very difficult one. Uh, I'm going to need your guys advice on it this was a leopard yellow belly clown that we bred to a pastel leopard freeway which is asphalt yellow belly and it was 50 percent head clown we know it's now 100 percent head clown because we have a visual clown right here and so we did the, the female did prove out which is what i really wanted now what do we got here now this one is obviously not a clown right here uh, this to me is obvious either yellow belly or it's asphalt it looks pastel to me. And I don't think there's any leopard in here. This is obviously, oop, het clown. <laughs> the, the, male, the male is a visual clown. And these are very frisky. Now this, oop, got bit again. Two bites. And this one is very frisky. This we think is, this could even be super leopard. This is really, really heavily patterned. This is obviously a visual clown. It's at least leopard. It could be super leopard. I don't think it's pastel. I don't see pastel in here. Now, this is either yellow belly or asphalt because we didn't hit the, the freeway on this. So I think it's going to be, I'm, I'm calling it asphalt. It doesn't look very yellow belly-ish to me, but there is some flames down here. But wow, these guys are really biting. They're really biting the crap out of me. <laughs> I must have taken about five bites already. Now, the really interesting ones are, are, are the white ones. So this is, this we're pretty sure is, is going to be ivory. That's super yellow belly, but it's got pattern to it. Is it a visual clown? Possibly. Maybe it has, it looks like it has a leopard, at least one copy of leopard in it. Because look, we can see that big thick stripe back there. It's got those, those black eyes, which, you know, could be the clown. So if we have it, let's say this is ivory, leopard, clown maybe. That's what I think that is. And then the, the most interesting looking one is this one. Hopefully this one doesn't bite me. They all have bit me. This one's really cool. I thought this was freeway originally. Pablo said, you know what? It looks like it's an, it could be an ivory leopard or even an ivory super leopard, which would make even more sense because it's kind of light. It's very, very light to be a, a freeway. Freeways are dark usually. And to have this kind of lightness to it, I think this is probably ivory. I happen to agree with him on that. And I think it's probably either super leopard or leopard. And that's why you're getting all this pattern here showing. Now, is this a visual clown too? I don't know. It doesn't, it might be. It's kind of got the clownish head, right? Look at this, Pablo. That looks like a, that looks like a, 
clownish head, but I'm not really sure. Yeah. You're, you're, he's looking up this. It does. It does look like it could be a leopard, a super leopard ivory. Um, if it's not visual clown, which I don't know if it is, it'll def it's definitely obviously head clown. So this whole this whole clutch is actually really interesting, and it turned out better than I thought. I would have liked to get the freeway clown, and I don't think we hit it. Ouch! <laughs> these guys are really biting. <laughs> We better feed these guys. They're fired up. They're ready to eat. And I do like that ivory leopard. I think that one's the, the really the coolest looking one. Leopard really puts a lot of pattern back into ivory and makes it really interesting. The question is, is that a clown too? That I don't know. So very interesting clutch here today. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Hope you liked that clutch. It was a pretty cool ball python clutch. It was a little... Uh, difficult to ID. I, I think that last one was a uh, leopard pastel ivory. I don't believe it's a clown. It's probably head clown. Well, it has to be head clown if it's not visual clown. And it just looks really super cool. And uh, I got to tell you, the ivories really do get a lot of pattern in them when you put leopard into them. And that's, uh, that's something that's really cool. I know uh, Pablo who works for me was a uh, trying to make one just because he thought they were that cool. And so we kind of hit it by accident. I would have preferred to hit the, you know, freeway clown, but we might have to wait till next year on that one. Also, I want to thank Miguel from Always Evolving Pythons. That Trident clown is outrageous. Can't wait to get her in the breeding program in a couple of years. Thank you so much. All right, guys, if you're loving these videos, show us that love. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Hit that like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning.